Okay, so, so far we've worked out some things to do with addition and subtraction. The next thing we want to learn about is multiplication, um, and we'll later on talk about why there isn't really a division type thing with matrices, but there's a, a kind of thing like that. So the seventh thing of the fundamentals of matrices is about matrix multiplication. And something that we need to know about before we can start with multiplying is that matrix multiplications are not always going to be valid, and the dimensions have to agree. What I mean about the dimensions having to agree is that they have to spot a particular pattern. So this first one is going to be able to work. The first um, matrix that we've got is A and the second one that we've got here is B. We've got a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 4. Now because this one has a 3 for the column over here and a row over here, this one is going to be allowed because they match in that middle part. So the actual outcome of this one is going to be a 2 by 4 matrix. And the way that we know that is because it starts with a 2 over here and a 4 over here. You're just going to have to take my word for this for a while, and then you'll see why when we do it with some numbers. So this one that we have here is not going to be valid because the 3 and the 2 do not match, so it is not valid. This one that we've got over here, though, we've got a 2 and a 2, so it's going to be valid, and it's going to end up being a 6 by 4 matrix. This one is a 3 by 3, so it's going to end up being a 1 by 1 matrix. A 1 by 1 matrix is literally just going to be a single number inside a bracket. So don't worry if you do end up with that. It's just a 1 by 1 matrix. You cannot do a 7 by 5 by a 7 by 5 because the 5 and the 7 here do not match each other. So this is an example of one that is not valid. You can't do a 7 by 5 by a 7 by 5. This one, very big matrix, 10 by 10 and 10 by 9. Because of the matching 10s that we've got here and here, it is going to be valid and it's going to be a 10 by 9 matrix. And of course, a 3 by 3 and a 3 by 3 is going to end up giving us a 3 by 3 because of these matching 3s here. So you should note that only square matrices, i.e. with the same width and height, can be raised to a power. This one is being squared here, so three, a 3 by 3 being multiplied by a 3 by 3, it gives you a 3 by 3. Um, in the other ones, you could never do a 2 by 3 multiplied by a 2 by 3, as, as shown by this example. A 7 by 5 and a 7 by 5 is not valid, so you can't actually raise anything to a power being uh, multiplying by itself unless it is a square matrix. So let's actually show you what um, matrix multiplication actually looks like. So this is definitely one that I'm going to be able to do because it is a 2 by 2 matrix being multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'm predicting that the answer is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And you'll see here I've also got some square brackets and I put a dot for a multiplication. You also didn't even need to have the dot. You could just have them right next door to each other. So the way that you do matrix multiplication is you take the first row and the first column and you multiply them like this. You start off by doing the th minus 3 multiplied by 6, which would give me minus 18. And then you add to it the 5 multiplied by 1, which is 5. And that will give me the first part on my matrix. That is going to give me the first row and the first columns element, which is going to be this one here. Minus 18 plus 5 is minus 13. So that element that's at the top is going to be minus 13. I'm now going to erase this, OK? I'm now going to just show you how I would find this element. Let's say I wanted to find this one here. Well, it's in the first row and the second column. So I would go first row, second column, and I would do a similar process to before. So I would now do the minus 3 multiplied by the minus 2, which is 6, and the 5 multiplied by minus 5, which is minus 25. So I'm adding those things together, and 6 minus 25 is minus 19, I hope. I don't know if my brain is going very good this morning. Yep, yeah, minus 19. So I can now fill in this part over here with minus 19. Now, to get to the parts that are on the bottom, you can go back to this matrix and you can say, OK, well, I want things that are on the second row here. So if it's on the second row, I'm going to be using the second row. And if I want to find the one that goes in the first column, I'm going to be doing that same pattern here. So I'm going to be doing the first ones together and then the second ones together. Let's do this in a black colour. So I've got the minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. I've got the 1 times 1, which is 1. So it's minus 11. So this one down here is minus 11. Let's pick a last colour for this bit. So I want the second row and the second column. So I'm going to do second row and second column. 
I've got the minus 2 times minus 2, which is 4, and the 1 times minus 5, which is minus 5. So I have 4 minus 5, which is minus 1. So the answer to this matrix multiplication is this 2 by 2 matrix that I've got right here. Now, all of this working, I would expect you to be able to do this in your head or just jotting numbers into your calculator. I wouldn't routinely write these kinds of things down like this, okay? So let's try this one and see if we can do it perhaps um, a little bit quicker. So first thing I'd probably know is that this is a three by two matrix and this one over here is a two by two. So it can be done because of these matching twos. And then we have the three and two. So I'm expecting the answer to be a three by two matrix, just like the first one that we've got here. So I imagine this zero five, I imagine it kind of like sliding down next door to this one that we've got here so that I can really easily see that the zero is gonna be multiplied to the minus four and the five to the minus two. So the zero and the minus four is just nothing and the five and the minus two is minus 10. So I'm now gonna be thinking about the zero and the five sliding down to this bit. So the zero and the four is zero, the five and the minus four is minus 20. Now I'm going to be concentrating on this next row that I've got here, this minus three and the one. I kind of imagine it like sliding around so it becomes vertical next to this minus four and minus two. So you've got the 12 and the minus two, which is just 10. And now I imagine it kind of sliding down next door to this one. So you've got minus 12, minus four, and that's minus 16. And then I'm going to think about the last one, which is the minus five and the minus one. Again, I'm going to think about it kind of being next door to this bit. So I have the 20 and the minus two, which is just 18. And then I'm going to think about it with the last section that is just over here. So it's going to be the 20 minus 20 minus four which is minus 24. So I've heard of people thinking about matrix multiplication in lots of different ways, but I always think about the first like row. I imagine it kind of like, sort of like um, sliding down so that the five comes down here and the zero up here. And then visually I can see which numbers multiply really easily. So I imagine that zero five kind of sitting next door to this. So I can see that one's going with the zero and that one's going with the five. Anyway, you can compute these matrix multiplications on your calculator, but you do need to be, you do need to know how to do it without a calculator because sometimes there will be some algebraic terms that come inside here. So what I'm going to do is let me just um, see if I can get the camera on at the same time. I wonder if I can put the camera here. Nope. So let's put the good notes a little extra so we can see the question. There we go. That's great. So I'll have the question here so we can see that. Okay. So here is the calculator. You can use the class whiz calculator, um, but I actually find this is one of the advantages of the graphics calculator because the screen is just so much better. It means you can absolutely see all of the matrix at the same time. So you're going to go into run matrix. Now you may be tempted to press this bit here, but then you end up having to do all of these matrices separately. And actually I way prefer being able to type the matrices directly into the screen. So instead press math, then press um, matvect. And if they don't have the size of the one that you want, press M times N. So our first one is a three by two. So I'm going to press three by two, and then you'll see it appearing here straight away. So you just fill in the numbers. So it's zero, five, minus three, one, minus five, and also a one. You can either put a multiplication symbol or you don't have to. My next one is a two by two matrix. So I have minus four, four, minus two, minus four. Let's hope I've done this right. And the answer is minus 10 minus 20, 10 minus 16, 18 and minus 24. So we have done that matrix calculation correctly. OK, so let's open this back up. So you can have a go at trying this one here or you can put it on your calculator. I'm going to see if we can do this one uh, nice and quick. So this one is a four. Uh, sorry, it's a three by four matrix. This one is a four by two matrix. Yeah, three across, four across. Yep, yeah, this can work because we've got the fours here. So it's going to end up being a three by two matrix. So it's going to be three elements, two columns like this. OK, I might show you this with the calculator so we can think what's going on here. So I'm going to have the one times five. Then I'm going to have the 0 times 1, the 3 times 0, and the minus 2 times 8. So my first element is going to be minus 11. That came from doing this row and this column. Now I'm going to do this row and this column. So I'm going to have the 1 times 1, the 0 times 7, the 3 times 3, 
and the minus 2 times minus 3, which is 6. And so we get 16 over here. So that was the first row and the second column. Now I'm going to do the second row, and then I'll do the first column. So the 2 times 5 is 10, the 8 times 1 is 8, the 4 times 0 is 0, and the 3 times 8 is 24. So I get 42 in this part here. Let's just quickly slide that away because I'm on the highlighter. I think I just said 42. Okay, great. Now I'm going to do that um, row with this column. So we have the 2 times 1, the 8 times 7, which is 56, the 4 times 3, which is 12, and the 3 times minus 3, which is minus 9. So I go and get 61 for this next part. Okay, now I'm going to do the final row, and I'll do it with the first column. So the 7 times 5 is 35, the minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, I get the 0 times the 0, and then the 2 times the 8, which is the 16, and so I then get 50 inside here. And then for the last part, I'm going to have the 7 times the 1, uh, the minus 1 times the 7, the 0 times the 3, and the 2 times the minus 3, which is minus 6. So my answer is minus 6. Right, let's do the same thing with the, um, the camera and good notes so that we can see what's happening. Double check that we've got the right answer. Okay, so there's the question. Let's just quickly fix on here so we don't get... This time we want to do a, what is it, a four, uh, three by four. So we'll do a three by four, and we're going to quickly fill these in. So it's one, zero, three minus two, two, eight, four, three, seven minus one, zero, two. And then we want to do a four by two. And that is a five, one, one, seven, five, one, one, seven, zero, three, Eight minus three. And we get minus 11, 16, 42, 61, 50, and minus six. So luckily it does work. Okay. You also need to know how to do this. This one can't be typed on the calculator, so you would need to be able to do this for an algebraic thing. So we've got two by two and a two by two, so we know it's going to be a two by two matrix. Let's see if we can do this one, though. So we're going to do this and this. Well, the four in this gives me a 16x, so I'm going to start off with a 16x, but then I've got minus y and a 2y, so it's minus 2y squared. Now I'm going to do the next part. I'm going to do this one and this. Well, I get a zero, and then I get a plus 5y, so I'm going to leave a nice big gap there. Okay, I'm going to do this times this, so that gives me an 8x squared, and then a minus 8y. And then I'm going to do this and this. This times this is 0. This times this is 20. So make sure you do leave a gap in here so it's clear that they are separate elements. And that's the result of doing this one. This one you can't put in a calculator. So I have got some questions here for you to have a go at. I would like you to try them either with a calculator, without a calculator, maybe a bit of a mixture. And I always like the idea of writing down how many, um, how big you think the matrix is going to be afterwards. So um, I'll let you have a go at these. Pause the video here and then I will just show you the answers. OK, so I think one of the interesting ones that I wanted to have a quick look at was this one down here. This is an example of a one by three and then a three by one. So it's actually just going to end up as a single matrix that we've got here or a matrix with a single element. So you've got one times one, two times two and three times three. So that's one plus four plus nine. One plus four plus nine is 14. And this one I'm not going to do in detail, but this then is the other way around. This is a 3 by 1 multiplied by a 1 by 3. So it's actually going to end up as a 3 by 3 matrix. You end up just doing the 1 times 1 to get 1, the 1 times 2, the 1 times 3, the 2 times 1, the 2 times 2, etc, etc, etc. And then this last one down here was to see if you could spot what the pattern was. So probably the best way to do it was to start off by doing 1A01 multiplied by 1a01 and to see if you could spot what the pattern is. So the answers should have been 1, 5, then we've got this matrix over here, this one over here, there's the single one we've got, 
we've got the one, two, three, the two, four, six, and the three, six, nine from the way I described this. And the general pattern you spot for question F should be one, zero, and one, and A, K. This is the only thing that seems to change when you multiply by this matrix that we've got here. So I've shown you how to do matrix multiplication, and I've also shown you a couple of times how to use the calculator to check your answers. I'm gonna just do a slightly separate video on a couple of other things to do with matrices, and then you can have a go at the next exercise.